Labour Party MP for Streatham, Chuka Yumana, demanded to be given the time to answer a question during a Brexit interview on Sky News. Sky host Mr Brazier interrupted the Labour MP after he was quizzed about the state of negotiations with the EU. Mr Brazier said, we did give people more of a clue as to what we could expect in the 2017 last year's general election. You presumably signed up to the same manifesto the Labour Party signed up to. The Tories also gave undertakings in their manifesto that they would look for a hard Brexit. Out of the customs union, out of the single market, an endorsement of that Brexit vote and one which seems to be ignored by everybody since, Mr. Yumana replied, well, I don't agree with that. The Conservatives failed to get a majority, so the Prime Minister and you guys spend hours of coverage on this very much expected to get. The Sky News host then attempted to interrupt the Labour Party MP leaving him furious. Hang on, Colin you asked, let me answer Chuka Yumana Mr. Yumana replied, hang on, Colin you asked, let me answer, everybody expected the Prime Minister to get an increased majority and at the core of her message was a hard Brexit message that you referred to. And she lost her majority, on the Labour side, it is wrong to say Labour necessarily had a hard Brexit position. Labour had a position which was that we would seek to maintain and retain the economic benefits of our membership of the European Union, we would seek to keep the benefits of the single market and the customs union. Brexit News, Chuka Yumana snapped after Colin Brazier tried to interrupt him, Image, Sky News, now it turns out as the negotiation process has gone through, that the only way of doing that is to stay part of those two bodies, here's the big thing, there isn't a consensus. Your viewers will be able to tell that from the conversation that we are having here. There isn't a consensus in the House of Commons either within parties or between parties on the way forward on all of this, that is why hundreds of thousands of people in the polls show a majority of people support having a people's vote on the final deal because we will actually know what we are dealing with and we will know what Brexit is going to look like. My own view is that shouldn't be left to 650 members of Parliament in Westminster to determine. This is going to affect every single family watching this program for a generation. Prime Minister Theresa May is in the Austrian city of Salzburg to discuss her controversial Brexit plan with colleagues in the EU. The Chequers Agreement has been criticized by pro-Brexit conservative MPs who claim it does not deliver what the British people voted for. On Tuesday evening the European Union's chief Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier claimed Brussels was ready to offer an improved proposal on the question of the Northern Ireland border, a sticking point in negotiations between the UK and EU.